So what is up guys, welcome to AGT Tech and Motivation YouTube channel. From past couple of days I am making a videos completely dedicated on the iPhone SE2 and other news by Apple but from one week I have not covered any single iPhone 11 leaks video but now when I am seeing this report and as I was making the script for today's video it came to my knowledge that there is so much things or so many things have happened in just one week so guys today in today's video I'm going to be covering all of these topics regarding iPhone 11's release date price and news and all the leaks of the specifications so guys without any further ado let's get into the video so guys as we all know that iPhone 11's leaks point out to a radically different square shaped rear camera inside a familiar looking design and we are expecting its release date in September 2019. Aside from the camera bump, Apple isn't expected to offer a massive design update with the iPhone 11. Instead, this iOS 13 totting iPhone is shaping up to be the another incremental update just like last year's iPhone XS was over iPhone 10. What will change? The most credible iPhone 11 rumors point out to a 3 camera array on the back of the phone which certainly means better photo and better video quality. The third rear camera could also boost Apple's augmented reality vision. As CEO Tim Cook has consistently talked about the power of AR on iPhone and iPad, a depth sensing time of light camera could do just that. The iPhone 11 may also get an important increase in battery life and the reverse wireless charging feature touted by Samsung and Huawei, only Apple's version may be able to wirelessly charge a friend's iPhone or your Apple Watch. So guys, there is one more update. It's looking even more likely that the iPhone 11 Max will have a triple lens camera plus the iPhone 11 launch date could be a week or two weeks later than the normal according to the Verizon roadmap leak. The usual suspects are here. Two, when it comes to iPhone 11's leaks, a specification update to make the phone faster than the already fast previous versions. The new colors to catch the eye of consumers hesitant to upgrade to the newest iPhone. That's good news because Apple isn't selling as many iPhones as previously forecast. So its next flagship has to woe everyone or come down in price to stay competitive. What does the iPhone 11 needs to improve? So guys, let's discuss on this topic. Now let's talk something about the iPhone 11's performance. 9 to 5 Max Ben Lovejoy recently speculated about what we might see from the upcoming A13 chip. Apple is sticking with a 7 nanometer process as 5 nanometer won't be ready in time, but EUV would allow about 20% more circuitry in the same area. Coupled that to the larger chip size expected sees cross and you get something with the same kind of transistor count at least the, as the latest iPad Pro models. As we all know that we are likely 3 months away from the Apple's announcement of 2019 iPhone lineup including the iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Max. Apple this year is expected to introduce 3 new iPhone models including the successor of the iPhone XS and XS Max and a refreshed iPhone XR. I also think that I should cover the iPhone 11's price in this video. I have covered the price in earlier videos but in this video as I am covering everything up so it would be great to include this part also. So we don't know the official price of the next iPhone yet but it's likely to be similar to what we saw with the iPhone XS and XS Max. Pricing will likely start at $999 and go up for additional storage or for the largest screen. We expect storage to start at 64GB with additional options for 256GB and 512GB. We do not expect Apple to offer a terabyte option this year. 
And here is not a pretty great news. If Apple offers a low-cost iPhone this year, similar to the iPhone XR, it's likely to start at $749 and go up in price for additional storage. And as you can, as you have seen, my earlier videos in which I have discussed more about the iPhone SE 2 and the iPhone XR 2. So guys, when we take into consideration that rumors and this rumors, they really do not match. But every day we are getting the new updates and my work is to tell you guys everything what is happening in the rumors and the leaks department. So guys, we really don't know but hope so we'll get a few more concrete rumors and by which we can make our way confirm that what are going to be the specification and price range uh, and the models coming this year. So guys, as I have now mentioned the iPhone 11's price topic, so I also think this time to introduce the iPhone 11 release date topic. And you know that I've included this vote topic in one of my separate videos, so if you have not checked that out, go there and check it out. I've talked about these topics in brief, but as if for now, as the time being, I'm going to cover this very quickly. If it follows past trends. Apple's next phone will be released in the fall of 2019. Apple is likely to announce it along with the Apple Watch Series 5 at the event in September. The general rule is that the newest phone will go on sale around two weeks after the release date. Pre-orders will like start the Friday after the announcement. The iPhone upgrade program is a popular and affordable way to make sure you have the latest phone every year. So guys, now let me cover the major area of the iPhone 11 which not might not be different from the iPhone XS and XS Max but altogether it is one of the greatest factors of the current generations of iPhones and that has to be the display. For the last few years Apple has been working to bluster its OLED display supply chain for diversion purposes and to cut down its reliance on Samsung. The company that has supplied displays for the iPhone 10, iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max. Apple has merged a partnership with Japan Display pushed LG Display to build out its OLED display production facilities and has purchased equipment to build an OLED panel. Apple is said to be aiming for all OLED lineup at some point in the future, perhaps in 2019. But it's not clear if that will be possible given the high price of OLED displays. Rumors have disagreed on Apple's 2019 display plans with some rumors pointing towards an all OLED display and other rumors suggesting Apple will continue to use some LCDs. It's likely the 2019 iPhone lineup will look like the 2018 lineup with premium OLED devices offered alongside more affordable LCD option. And that's what we have heard from most of the rumors so far. Apple's 29 iPhone could potentially be thinner and lighter due to the adoption of Samsung design OLED display technology called Yocta, which integrates the touchscreen layer into the display panel given the display panel is already a thin component. It is not clear how much thickness reduction we will see. But Apple is likely to use the technology due to its lower cost. Japanese site Makotkora believes that there could be two new iPhones in 2019 with triple lens camera setup instead of one. One that measures at, at in at least 6.1 inches and one that measures in at 6.5 inches both with OLED displays and slightly thicker bodies. Magotkora's information doesn't mesh with other rumors though which have suggested the OLED models will come in 5.8 and 6.5 inches size like the current iPhone lineup. Now let me talk about one of the features which is I think is going to go and that is the 3D touch. As we all know when the iOS 13 beta was launched that 
there was 3D touch in all iPhones but it was considered as a bug and was later removed in the public beta. So let's talk about this. The Barclays analyst Baron Curtis who has somewhat mixed track records has suggested that all 20 19 iPhones will do away with 3D touch. Apple did eliminate 3D touch in the lower priced 6.1 inch iPhone XR and company would be planning to remove the feature entirely in 2019. Now let's talk a little bit about its processor, its A13 Bionic processor. TSMC will be the sole supplier of the next generation A13 chipset that will be used in the 2019 iPhone lineup. The iPhones coming in the future, the A13 expected to be built on TSMC 7nm plus package with extreme ultraviolet lithography. The A13 like all chip upgrades should bring more performance and more efficiency improvements. Now comes the question about the rear camera. So guys, I don't think that I should mention about the rear cameras. Now if you want to get more information, I have a completely dedicated video on iPhone 11's camera. So if you want that you can go and check it out. So now let's talk about the front facing true depth camera on the iPhone 11. Rumors suggest that Apple is planning to make changes to the front facing true depth camera system that enables Face ID in the 2019 iPhones. Apple analyst Minji Ko believes 2019 iPhones will feature a new flood illuminator that will improve Face ID by lowering the impact of the invisible light from the environment. All three new iPhones coming in 2019 are expected to feature 12 megapixel single lens front facing cameras which will be imp an improvement over the 7 megapixel camera used in the 2018 iPhone lineup. Specialized coating techniques for both the front facing cameras and the super wide angle camera lens could make the lenses look more inconscious. Apple may be able to introduce a smaller notch by combining the front facing camera and the face ID sensor into a single face recognition module. Despite some rumors suggest a smaller notch or no notch at all, Apple analyst Minji Ko, who often accurately predicts Apple's plan, believes that there will be no change to the size of the notch in the 2019 iPhone lineup. Apple supplier AMS has announced new sensor technology that allows the RGB light and the IR proximity sensor used for the front facing true depth camera system to be embedded under an OLED display. Apple could potentially be planning to introduce this new sensor tech in its 2019 iPhones and this would allow the Apple to create an iPhone with a smaller Face ID notch. And there is one more new report that Apple's pencil support. Korean site The Investor, which does not have established the track record for accuracy, has suggested Apple is considering offering an Apple Pencil style stylus alongside the 29 iPhone models. It's not clear if this is accurate, but Apple analyst Minji Ko, who is reliable, has said that Apple Pencil support might be possible in the coming iPhone lineup. So guys, today's video is already becoming too big. There are still many topics such as the 18 watt USB Type C is happening, Wi-Fi 6, 4x4, MIMO, and there's a lot of things regarding the iPhone 11's leaks. So guys, I want to cover all of the rumors just for you guys. But as you can see, today's video is already reaching the barrier of the time as we are completing 15 minutes. So I think I should take a pause today. You will get the, this video, the second part of today's video, today or tomorrow. And yeah guys, hope you have liked this video. This I think this was a pretty brief <laughs> lecture type video for you guys. If you have liked this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. 
and click the bell icon that is the most important part because you will never miss on any updates from my channel so guys thank you for giving your support to my channel and let's meet in the other video so guys till then peace